Hey guys, it's me Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a beautiful start to your day. I'm here today to do a spring slash summer clothing haul. I have been doing just a little too much retail therapy lately, so I thought I would share with you all the new items that I have purchased. If you're interested in seeing what I got, just stick around for this video. I will try to link all the stores and the prices in this video if you're interested in checking them out for yourself. If you have any other questions or concerns, just ask them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And without further ado, we're going to get right into this haul. So first and foremost, this is a collective haul. I did not purchase all of these clothes on one shopping spree. Most of these clothes have been purchased over the course of a month and a half to two months. Secondly, I am a very, very cheap shopper. I am always looking for deals. I am always looking for bargains. So I will link the tag price in this video, but most of the tag prices are not true to the actual price that I paid for them because most of these clothes that I purchased were when I could get like a buy one, get one free or buy one dress, get the next half off. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for each specific item. I will link the tag price, but again, it is not true to what I actually paid for them. I got most of these clothes for much cheaper than the tag price. So always look for your bargains because you can get really awesome clothes for a much, much cheaper price. And thirdly, you're going to notice that the style is very, very plain. There's not like a lot of designs to the clothes that I bought. And that is because I'm going to Disney in the middle of summer and when I go to Disney this sounds so pathetic but when I go to Disney I like to really jazz up my outfits with my ears so I like to wear plainer tops and then jazz them up with my Mickey ears so really cute clothes but most of them are just very plain and yeah let's get right into this so the very first store that I went to was one of my all-time favorite stores in the entire world and that is TJ Maxx I am obsessed with TJ Maxx they have such Great quality, adorable, beautiful clothing for such inexpensive prices. So highly suggest going there if you are on a budget because you can get amazing products for really, really cheap. The very first thing that I picked up was this white peplum shirt. It is just like spaghetti strap shirt. It has a little blue design to it and I love how it gets tight right around your midriff and then it just like flows out. It's just a very, very flowy open top. Again, this is for Disney and it gets so hot in the summer so most of these clothes are just very open and very kind of like flowy tops because it just gets so hot over there so this is the very first shirt it's just plain in the back and it has a design in the front just a nice little white peplum shirt the next thing that I purchased from there is just such a fun shirt. I've never ever owned a shirt this bright before and I can't find the top. It is just like this neon yellow top. It's just like bam in your face kind of a top. I love it. It has two little slits in the front and two little slits in the back so it's very open and very flowy. Again, I feel like this is just going to be such a fun top for Disney because I do the photo pass when I go to Disney so I get all the professional pictures that the cast members take of you and I just feel like this is going to show up really, really vibrant on camera. Next up I got a white dress and it's just oh I love this dress so much. It is just a white spaghetti strap top dress and then on the bottom it has like this lacy design. Again very very flowy, very very lightweight. It kind of has like a racer back top so it kind of gets tighter around the top and then goes out a little bit more in the back. But yeah, it's just a little white dress. I plan on wearing this to Animal Kingdom. And then it has the lacy accents on the bottom. And one of the final things that I got there is like my all time new favorite shirt. It's this white crop top that is lace. In the back it has like a little peephole opening, but it's just like very flowy, very open, very lightweight, and just perfect for Disney. Next up I went to Rue 21 and I got two clothing items there. The very first thing is this blue tie-dye wavy top that I wore in my Pop Sugar video. A lot of you asked where I got it from and this is just from Rue 21. It has the spaghetti straps over here and then it kind of has the openings for your shoulders to come out and then the long flowy sleeves. So this again is from Rue 21 and then I also got this top that I am wearing right now. This is also from Rue 21 and it has like the peplum sleeves. It's very flowy and I think it's perfect to wear when I'm teaching. It just goes all the way down. Of course I'd have to wear a shirt underneath it because it's a little see-through but I don't know I just think this is going to be a really fun teaching top and it's just perfect for the spring.
Next up I went to Charlotte Russe that I purchased probably the coolest romper in the entire world. It is this tribal elephant print romper and I just cannot wait to wear this in Animal Kingdom. On the bottom it has some black lace. It is very flowy. It's super, super lightweight. I feel like I am repeating myself, but lightweight is the name of the game when you are going to Walt Disney World and when you're living in New England in the summer because New England gets very, very hot. We have days that go up to like 98 to 100. So flowy is just the name of the game when it comes to spring and summer months. But just the design on this just absolutely blew me away. I just love like the whole tribalness to it and I just think it's gonna be really fun to wear Animal Kingdom. The next two shirts are Disney specific shirts. They both come from Etsy and again they're both from my upcoming trip to Walt Disney World. The very first one comes from Cafe 47. It says Mickey Ears, Dole Whips, Castle Selfie, Starbucks, The Disney Life. This shirt is just everything to me. I am so in love with it. I put it on my Instagram and a lot of you were asking me where I got it from. It is from Cafe 47, the Etsy shop. I want to say this was like $25 or $27, which is a little expensive for a t-shirt, but of course it's an Etsy site and it's custom made, so they have to kind of like upcharge it a little bit. And the very next one is just, I don't know, it has a lot of meaning to me. I've been going through a really tough time lately, as I mentioned in my videos. I've been dealing with some really crappy anxiety. Fortunately, I'm doing a lot better. I'm not like 100% where I'd like to be yet, but I'm feeling so much better than I did about a month and a half to two months ago. And of course, when you're going through these tough times, you confide in people. I confided in my boyfriend, Adam. I confided in my family, and I also confided in my friends. So five of my besties from college, Kara, Heather, Lauren, Steph, and Michaela, they ended up sending me a shirt to my house just saying that they were thinking about me and they wanted to like brighten my spirits up a little bit so they ended up ordering me this shirt off of Etsy and it says squad goals it has Belle on it, Pocahontas, Cinderella, Jasmine, Aurora, and Ariel and it just like I said says hashtag squad goals this meant so much to me if you guys are watching this thank you so much that was just such a kind gesture it really brightened my spirits and it made me just so happy to know that I have such caring and loving friends. So again, this is from the Etsy site. I'm not exactly sure how much it was, of course, because this is a gift, and I don't quite remember the actual um, Etsy shop, but I will ask one of them and link it in the comments below, in the description below, if you're interested in getting this, but it's just so colorful, it's so beautiful. It's like a racer back top, which is absolutely perfect for Walt Disney World, and I'm just very blessed with the people that I have in my life. So if you guys are watching, thank you so, so much again. This meant, seriously, so much to me. The next two items come from Pink by Victoria's Secret. They are both racer back tops, and in February, the Pop Sugar Box gave us a $20 gift card to spend at Victoria's Secret. So these were two for $32 ridiculously overpriced. I really like pink, but I just think it's like stupid to pay $16 for a racer back top. But again, I have the $20 gift card. I don't normally shop there because it's just, I don't know, it's just overpriced in my personal opinion, but I had a $20 gift card, so might as well when in Rome. So I ended up getting this pink racer back top. It's just very, very bright. And then I just got the exact same thing in this like mint-ish green blue color. Both of these are perfect for Disney. They're just really bright, and of course they're also perfect for the summer, but it's just so expensive of a racer back top. I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. I think their clothing is seriously so cute, but $16 for a racer back top is really, really expensive. I put $20 into this, and I still had to pay $12 for these, which means $6, I mean $6 for a racer back top, that's not bad, but $16 for a racer back top, and it's just plain cotton, a little obnoxious. This little guy creeped out of nowhere. This is also from Rue 21. I just didn't see it in my whole pile when I was showing all of the other clothes from Rue 21. It's probably one of my favorites in the entire collection. It is just a white, meshy, lacy top. It has some really nice, intricate details on the bottom and the spaghetti straps on the top. But what I love the most is the back. The back is beautiful. It has all of these openings, which makes it just very, very flowy and very open and just very lightweight. I sound like a broken record, but it's just really cute and it's gonna be perfect for the summer. 
The next store is Wet Seal, and this is one of the stores that I got ridiculously good prices. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this dress and this romper, but they were like buy one, get the second one half off, or buy one, get the second one for $10. I don't quite remember, but I can tell you that this was regularly $25. I did not pay $25 for this. The first thing is this lacy black romper. Again, everything is just very plain in this haul because this is for Disney and I just want to dress it up with my ears. It's just really cute. It has the shorts on the bottom and in the back it's really cool because the straps kind of cross over and they make an X. Very, very pretty. And it has a zipper in the back as well. And now, my favorite dress in this entire haul. I am just living for this dress. This came from Wet Seal. It is just a peplum dress, which means it's tight on the top and then flows out on the bottom, but the back is flawless. So I don't know if you can tell, I'm gonna put it on later when I do like the little lookbook, but um, yeah, it's just all these straps, it goes down just about to your hips, maybe a little higher than your hips, and then it's just all open back. It's just so sexy, it's so beautiful. Another dress that I can dress down or really dress up. I bought this for California Grill. When we go to Disney, Adam and I celebrate our anniversary. We started hanging out in June. We became official in August. We're going to Disney in July. So we kind of use our Disney trip to like do one night to celebrate our anniversary. So we go to one of the really, really nice restaurants there, which is California Grill. It's kind of like a fancier restaurant. So I bought this specifically, specifically for for that night. I just feel like it's gonna be like, I don't know, I just love this dress so much. I love the back. It's just like, I don't know, it's perfect. things left in this haul and the next two items that I picked up are sweaters. The very first one that I bought is from H&M and this was only $9.99. Super super cheap. I've been looking for one of these lightweight thin material sweaters for a really long time because I want to DIY it. I want to put a big glitter Mickey head right in the front and I also want to put them on the elbows. So I finally found this and it's from H&M and the next sweater is hands down the coolest sweater I've ever purchased in my entire life. I got it from Cape Cod when Adam and I went there about a month and a half ago, and it's an American flag sweatshirt. How freaking awesome is this sweatshirt? I'm obsessed with it, and I just can't wait to wear this at the beach at nighttime in the summer. I also forgot an item from TJ Maxx. This is just a long maxi dress. Maxi dress from TJ Maxx, get it? And it's just a royal blue. It is perfect for teaching as well. We can't really wear spaghetti straps teaching, but we're allowed to wear these like one to two inch strap dresses. So this is really perfect for teaching. It is almost June and it gets really hot in our classroom. I do have an air conditioning and an air conditioning unit in my classroom, but with my school, if you put the air conditioning unit on, within an hour it blows the fuse, so it's cool for like an hour, then it gets really hot, then it gets cool again, etc, etc. So it's just nice to wear really open type clothing, just nice lightweight clothing when I am teaching. This is from TJ Maxx, and again, it is just a little maxi dress. And the last three items in this haul all come from the outlet stores. I am very fortunate to have an outlet shopping center within like 40 to 45 minutes from me. So it's really not that long to get there and they have the very best deals. The first thing that I bought is from The Loft. This was only $10 and again, this is a top that I bought specifically for teaching. Very, very open and it has the straps that I'm allowed to wear at work. And the last two items in this haul both come from Converse. Converse was having a crazy, crazy good sale when I went in there in the outlet shops. They were having a sale where you buy one, get the second pair half off. I have been wanting a pair of white high top Chuck Taylors for ever and I finally picked them up so I got the white pair. I had to pay full price for this but then the second pair that I got which are these awesome American flag Chuck Taylors. I got these for half off and I want to say these were only $20. I ended up getting them for like $10. These were already on the clearance section and then I got them for even half off of that specific price. 
So I end up getting a white pair of Chuck Taylors and an American flag pair of Chuck Taylors as well. I've been wanting these forever, specifically for Disney, but also for the summer, and I got two really awesome pairs now, and I'm ridiculously pumped about it. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope this video did not come across as bragging or boasting. That was not my intentions of filming this video at all. I work really, really, really hard in my job as a teacher and I just like to spoil myself from time to time. I personally love watching haul videos. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just so much fun to see what other people get and the specific style that they have. And I thought that you would enjoy watching that from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will talk to all of you soon. Bye guys.